Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, we're going to roll those dice and see what we get. Platonic Solids is a 12% pastry stout from Ascension Brewing Company in Novi, Michigan. Anyone that tells you that there's seasons for beers, they're just, they don't know what they're talking about. They're out of their mind. IPAs, lagers, and Kolsch's aren't just summertime beers, and darker beers like stouts and porters aren't just for cooler months. There's never a bad time to enjoy a stout, regardless of what anybody else says. The beer police are going to come, come and take away your drinking card, so if you see a stout that sounds good in the summertime, drink away. That's what we got here, so let's take a better look at this Ascension and Loaded Dice collaboration. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Brian Kramer and David Jeffries for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or maybe even just buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.com slash draft underscore therapy, where you can get early access to these videos and a few other special perks available only to patrons. Let's take a look at this label. I don't really know where to start, so I'm going to start on the backside where it has the Ascension Brewing uh, Company logo. It says Platonic Solids, an imperial stout with sweet cherry, vanilla, and almonds brewed and packaged by Ascension Brewing Company. This is one pint, 16 fluid ounces, and 12% alcohol by volume. You can check them out at ascension.beer or their social media at Ascension Brew Co. And uh, if we look at the label here, it's got all these different dice on it. It pays kind of an homage, I think, to like Dungeons and Dragons. They have all these different, you know, the 10 sided dice, the six sided dice, eight sides, 12 sides. I uh, don't necessarily, oh, there's a 20, all different dice on here. On the other side, you can see it says brewed in collaboration with Loaded Dice Brewery in Troy, Michigan. This says to keep refrigerated at all times. Now, this one was canned on July 15th, 2021. On the right above the date here, it says, I see you have braces. I have braces too. <laughs> so that's a nice uh, little homage there to uh, Beavis and Butthead. Knowing the Ascension guys and knowing Jeff from Loaded Dice makes total sense. All right, so I'm going to use my Witch's Hat Tracks uh, Tiku glass, but I'm going to crack this and put a nose on the can. And I'll tell you what kind of aromas I'm getting out of this. All right, putting a nose on it. Hmm. Not getting a whole lot, maybe a slight cherry on the nose of the can. So oh, actually I'm getting a little bit more now, cherry and vanilla. It has a nice chocolate kind of note in there too. So let's go ahead and pour this. We'll get a better nose on it, but that's coming out really kind of dark. It has almost a transparent kind of quality to it. So it almost looks a little thinner than what you would expect it to be at 12%. It kind of went a little bit more aggressive on the end of the pour there, but didn't really generate much of a head. Even going to add a little bit more to it. As you can see from the overhead, there is a nice amount of carbonation coming up from the top, from the bottom, but it's not really leaving much of a head. I mean, if I would have put my finger up here uh, on the, it looks like what you guys are seeing is that there, from the front view, is that there is no head, and you can see from the top, from the overhead, definitely no head. There is just a layer, a line of bubbles around the rim, so let's go ahead and hold it up to the light here. I probably over poured that. That is very dark to me. I'm going with a little bit of a different lighting setup this week, so I don't see as much as I generally do, but it looks very dark. Like I'm seeing just a bit of a caramel um, reddish kind of color around the top of the glass. I'm really trying to be careful not to spill this because like I said, I, I think I poured a little bit too much on that secondary pour. So let's go ahead and put a nose on it. I'm just going to set it down because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just spill this. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot more of a chocolate aroma than I was getting before. I am getting, I am getting that cherry, that vanilla. I'm, I, I'm going to say, I know it's cherry, uh, vanilla, and almonds. I, I almost think that I am getting an almond aroma out of here, out of here. so let's go ahead and try it out. Cheers. All right. A lot, of un a lot to unpack on this flavor, but let's start with the mouthfeel, because that's where we always start. The mouthfeel is really nice and heavy, has a nice, thick quality to it, borderline syrupy. Actually, because it has, you know, it is kind of so heavy, it is near syrupy, it may be just a tad lighter than syrup kind of mouthfeel. It's very thick, very viscous, holds onto your tongue very well. Let's go ahead and talk about the flavor now. I will start off by saying this is a very dangerous beer because it's 12%. So I'm not picking up on any kind of booziness. What I am picking up on, there is a lot of cherry, there is a lot of vanilla, there is a lot of almonds, so everything so far on the can checks off. There is also this underlying chocolatey note to it, roasted kind of malty 
and chocolatey note to it, almost borderline. It's not like a dark bitter chocolate, but it almost has like these kind of coffee notes in there as well. Very sweet, has a nice sweetness to it. It's not overly sweet. The sweetness doesn't overpower like what you would consider a pastry stout to be is a sweeter, like a dessert style stout. This definitely has those sweet notes to it. It is definitely on the, you know, on the edge of being almost too sweet. But I think that cherry, it's not like a tart cherry. It's a sweeter kind of chocolate covered cherry vibe is what I'm getting. Like, like I said, I get that kind of chocolate note to it, but I also get that cherry note to it. So that lends to this almost chocolate covered cherry flavor. It has this almond kind of backup, like, but it doesn't, it tastes more like an almond extract. It's not like a, a totally natural almond kind of flavor to it, but I think it's because it's kind of deep down in there. You get a little bit of this kind of bitterness from the almond, just a, just a tiny bit. And with that chocolate covered cherry kind of vibe that we're getting, that you get the vanilla in that chocolate, in that cherry kind of mix up and the almond and the vanilla kind of mix up. So it's almost like the vanilla is underneath. It's a note underneath everything, but it ties everything together. So it's the, you get it on the upfront, you get it on the aftertaste, you get it in the middle, but it's, like I said, it's that kind of, that, that, that flavor that just ties everything together. I think if you didn't have the vanilla in there, it would, I don't know how you could do it without the vanilla because it, like I said, it just holds everything together. So without it, it would almost feel like something's missing here, but the vanilla mixes really well with the almond, the chocolate and the cherry kind of flavor mix so good together with the vanilla. So the vanilla is like this kind of common, you know, value that runs through the whole flavor, the whole taste of it. Um, I can't really say enough good things about this beer because if it, it really hits that pastry stout flavor you have to go into this knowing though if because it, as of this recording on july 25th it's still available at ascension so you can still go buy this pick it up but you have to know um that you're going to get in you're in for like a really sweet um really kind of almost bright tasting stout it's not going to be a really boozy stout that's going to weigh you down like i said at the beginning of this it's very dangerous it's something that i could probably you know easily drink all of this right now um, and think, not think to have another. And then when the ABV, when it starts to really kick in, you may regret that you kind of went through it so quick, but it is, like I said, more of a dessert paste. It's a pastry stout. It's more of a dessert style stout. So it's something that you would want to have, you know, maybe more of like a one and done. This isn't something that you'd want to like take a four pack someplace and, you know, you're going to watch uh, the ball game. You're going to hang out by the lake and just drink four, uh, 12% pastry stouts. That's probably just not a good idea. You might end up with an upset stomach, but if you are a big pastry stout fan and you're kind of, you've had like the Gorilla Juices from Ascension, maybe you've had some of the all-ins from Loaded Dice and you want to try something on that sweeter end and a nice collaboration between the two. This is obviously the Ascension version of it. We'll see if a Loaded Dice version gets canned. But if you're looking for a really nice kind of pastry stout, sweet pastry stout from, from Ascension who are, you know, great at stouts and Loaded Dice who have a lot of great stouts under their belt as well. I think you could do a lot worse than Platonic Solids from Ascension and Loaded Dice. All right, friends, that has been Platonic Solids, a pastry stout collab from Ascension and Loaded Dice. Have you had this beer before? Do you have a favorite pastry stout? Do you have a favorite beer from Ascension or Loaded Dice? And when exactly is stout season? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. You'll never know. Maybe your favorite comes out, you won't know. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. These guys are in Novi and Troy, Michigan. And until next time, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers. <laughs>